Hello, welcome to Brockwell Lane and a new layout, a new scale. 009 this time. Uh, this is just a little exhibition layout I built uh, on an old scrap of wood. And it was basically made with the 009 starter set from Pico. I added a couple of extra points in and extended it slightly. As you can see, uh, it's Fastiniog based, or at least is at the moment. Uh, but it's, it's sort of freelance, so it can run pretty much anything. It hasn't actually got a name yet, um, so any ideas, put them in the comments. So as you can see round the back there, there's just a simple loop and the original points which came with the starter set. At the front of the layout, we've got this old quarry. And uh, some old quarry tracks disappearing into the rock face. A little incline, which uh, goes part of the way and then is obscured by trees. This is all heavily overgrown, of course, and is not, not non operational. Say hello, Sky. And this is Sky Alight chasing trains. Yeah. So at the moment it just sits on top of a cupboard, but it's easily transportable so it can go to shows if needed. So some of the buildings I've used, that is a Backman uh, ready to plant uh, scene craft uh, cottage, a slate cottage, a uh, narrow gauge one. And that up there is a woodland scenic corrugated iron structure, I can't remember exactly what that came with, but I think it's some sort of mine building. Um, this little station building at the front here is from MS Models. That's 3D printed. And that is, I think, is a ratio water tower uh, attached to a, again, I think that's a ratio building. I'm not exactly sure what that is. And another scene craft. Um, I think that's a station halt building actually there, which I've used on the back of that. Locomotives, um, Batman Collector Club Linda in blue, which I remember seeing. Um, there's a Prince from Pico, which I've modified slightly. I put lamps on these as well. And a Blanche at the back there. And you see running Murden Emrys, David Lloyd George. And there's also Princess somewhere in green. This is an interesting one. This is uh, Up North Castle, which runs on a Kato chassis, and it's 3D printed from eBay. Uh, but I need to get some nameplates for that. As far as wagons go, you've seen them going round. They are 3D printed slate wagons, again from eBay. I can't remember the seller, uh, but they were a lot cheaper than the um, Pico or Backman equivalents, and I think they're a bit better actually. These stone walls uh, are actually recycled from a previous layout. They're, I think, from Osborne models. They're quite expensive, but they're like foam, flexible. The river, which is going to get some more work, is just a bit of painted perspex, dark green on the back, and a few bits of slate put in there, but I'm going to put some proper water in there as well. The quarry line, which is disused, is raised slightly. And there's actually no points there, these are all old bits of flexi track curved to make look like it had points on and covered in grass so you can't really tell. The rock face I've made uh, from air dry clay and then weathered and painted in various emulsions and gunmetal uh, enamels and things like that and uh, that's probably still a work in progress. Static grass uh, used, I think it was Pico. Uh, there's also some woodland scenic clumpy foliage around. The ballast is, I owe this a new junction, that's actually um, sand for chinchillas. Same one he used because I saw a video of his recently and it really works quite well. 
is that the same one that New Junction used so thanks for him for that tip it's really good stuff and cheap and fine Rather the construction is this uh, foam board from Hobbycraft although the base is an old wooden uh, frame which was uh, built for a uh, my nephew's layout, uh, the old layout, which I've pinched and recycled. So the Pico track is pretty much recycled from an old 009 layout, layout I had. That's uh, Pico main line 009 on the main line sections there. The medium points, and there's actually a very small uh, engaged one which is hidden at the back way in ballast. The sheep have escaped and uh, are dotted all the way around the layout where they shouldn't really be apart from those that are behind the wall but they get all over the place and just adds a little bit of realism I only started this layout about two weeks ago so it's come on very fast and it's been very fun to do and it really works quite well surprisingly So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Brockwell Lane. Bye bye for now.